How's it going everybody? My name is John Hammond. Welcome back to another YouTube video. Still looking at the Kaizen CTF. Uh, now moving on to some of the reverse engineering challenges. One that I want to show off is the Easy as Pie challenge. Um, I thought this one was really interesting. It was honestly really easy and something that I think I've even covered in some of my own CTF, like one one of the local ones that I put together here. Uh, the question is, uh, do you know the password? Maybe you don't need it. Um, and we're given this uh, zip archive. So we'll check this out. We'll go ahead and put it in our Kaizen folder, create a new one for it, easy as pie, and we'll save it there and move on to working with it. So go ahead and unzip it, and we get this reverse me file, which is a binary, so let's mark it executable and start to play with it. If we run it, we're the password. Um, Anything we don't know, and obviously no. So uh, what we want to do is we want to start to analyze it and work with it. Um, the low-hanging fruit that we typically always start with is just strings. So we take a look at the strings for reverse me, and I just pipe that into less. And it looks like for a long, long while, there's like nothing here. There's literally nothing interesting or nothing good for like in this binary at all. Like it all it's just pretty much the regular strings we see and just a regular packed binary. But I, I'm just surprised that there's nothing there. Like normally there's some headers or for some other information. Um, and we just kept scrolling through this for like a long enough time until eventually we hit something interesting, which hopefully I'll get to <laughs> eventually. Some more longer lines. Um, we were curious of like why is there nothing here? And eventually... Do, 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 do. Okay, here it is. We something that we just screened by. Info. This file is packed with the UPX executable packer. So I've shown this off before, and I think in some challenges that I put together for my team, but UPX is a pretty commonly used one for executable packing and for trying to hide some stuff in, in, in a binary. So um, you can download it, you can play with it, you can work with it. I have the UPX thing downloaded already. So I know I could just use UPX on this now. UPX, and it's the ultimate packer for executables. We can use it to um, decompress files that are already compressed. So in our case, we want to use it on the reverse me. So we can UPX-D reverse me binary, and it has been unpacked now. Now when we run strings on it at a different time, we've got a lot more output. In this case, it looks like some of the C sharp, or I'm sorry, C++ bindings and stuff. And we can scroll through it. There's a little bit more there now at the very end. So I just hit the end key to get there. And a bunch of stuff, really. Nothing that I particularly want to look through now. But since it's unpacked now, we should be able to work with it just fine. Um, I tried to grep for the flag format, Kaizen. That didn't return anything for me, so I did a little bit more like analysis with R2 and like object dump and, and, and stuff like that. Um, with Ida Pro, even. Now that we have Ida Pro, which is awesome. So we ran Ida Pro. I'm sorry, we ran... Uh, Radar 2 on it, I opened it up and I just tried to take a look at it. Uh, I jumped to main and now I can view it a little bit more and I look through it and I see, okay, please handle the password, that string that we've sung before and running C out, so I know it's a C++ program just like I kind of assumed. Um, and I see it pushing on the stack the string flag Kaizen Huckleberry, so that has to be our, our, our flag right there. Okay, yeah, flag Kaizen Huckleberry. You can even see it in the flag. So when I ran strings earlier, it was because it was not all capitalized. If I can just make a case insensitive, we get our flag right here, Kaizen Huckleberry with, with simple grep. So not hard, <laughs> just the UPX and being able to find the, the fact that it was the UPX executable. So uh, my teammates saw it really easily, and I was really, really pleased because uh, the UPX thing was, I was something I was trying to teach and show off to other people in some of one of the local competitions that I that I put together uh, a few months back. So that's it. That was our uh, that was the easiest pie reversing challenge. Only 100 points, but a, a good challenge to showcase some of those those things like UPX that are common in CTF games. So thanks for watching, guys. See you later.